We really like road trips on this channel and we found a really cool one on the southern coast of Australia. It's called the Great Ocean Road. Maybe you've heard of it. So here's what we'll tell you. The bottom line is you can do it in one day if you truly want to. A lot of people do. They'll start from Melbourne and go all the way down and all the way back. But that doesn't allow you to stop and do things. So it's a road trip. It's not just on the road, right? There's beautiful sights and scenery, but beyond that, you can see some wild koalas, some tropical birds. You can do zip lines. There's glowworms in the trees. There's well, obviously beautiful beaches and beach towns. You might want to stop and stay the night and hang out. So we recommend at minimum day and a half is what you'll see in this video, but maybe up to two full days, maybe three full days if you want to do everything on this road trip. It's pretty epic. It's pretty beautiful. It's really easy. You can't get lost. It's a straight road and we recommend it. There's the bird on my head. Cool, <laughs> I don't know what to do. We're starting, we're starting the Great Ocean Road at Point Danger because we're going east to west in this little town, either pronounced Torque or Torquay. I'm not sure why they call it Point Danger other than the fact that there's some really dangerous things you can climb which obviously we're gonna do. Might have something to do with the rocks and the surf as well, but we can't, we can't really say why it's called Point Danger. Anyway, how about Maggie's athletic ability on getting on top of that circle that you're not supposed to get on top of? <laughs> you can go with budget, you can go with Hertz, you can go with Enterprise, or you can go with Juicy. We went with Juicy for this road trip. All right, let's get this great right. ocean road drive going. Your trip on the great ocean road can be as short or long as you choose. As you'd expect, we found ourselves pulling over at almost every attraction along the way. So this is stop number three in the last 15 minutes. I really like to stop and look at things, especially since I'm the one driving. I'm like, ooh, okay, let's pull over so I can really appreciate the scenery. This little inlet looks really cool and there's a lighthouse. Um, if you've been watching the channel, then you know that I like lighthouses and if you can climb them, even better. But I'm not gonna like force us to climb it if it's gonna be an ordeal. And we can climb it. <laughs> it's $10 per person, 10 Australian dollars per person to climb this lighthouse. The lady downstairs was such a good sales lady. She said it's got wonderful views up top. So here we go. I thought it was well worth $10 to get in that lighthouse because I learned a really interesting fact and I'm gonna tell you guys, old timey lighthouse keepers were more than just keepers of the lighthouse. They had this way to rescue ships that came across the rocks right in front of them. They'd fire this rocket, like a firework, but more heavy duty and it would it would have like a string tied to it and you'd go across the ship and then you pull that string and get a much stronger rope and then they had these little like baskets, they called them. I would say they were rescue baskets, but they, I mean, it wasn't like a rescue basket you'd see in a helicopter. They were like breeches, like rescue breeches, I think is what they called them. And then the guys would get in those oh. and they were on pulleys on the strong rope. And then you could pull yourself to shore and get off your ship that's getting banged against the rocks and like sinking and coming apart before you died. It's a really cool rescue method. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. We're stopping at a koala walk. There's supposed to be koalas, Maggie said so. That's what I read, but there's another place that we can go if we don't see them here. But there's quite a few people here, so I think they may be seeing stuff if there's a crowd.
Yeah. Well, apparently, if you just like put your arm out, they'll flock to you. Like, How'd you get in this predicament? Put my, I put my arm out. I don't want it to. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I hope it doesn't move. You want, shoe bird. <laughs> Pro tip: If you're tired and you just stretch, don't stretch along the like route with the parrots because uh, if you do this, they just like flock to you and apparently land on your head. So the game we're playing is. Um, we're on Gray River Road and you drive really slow and you look up into the eucalyptus trees and you will spot wild koalas. We've already seen a couple. Once you figure out how to spot them, you'll see them more and more. Look for a little gray furry ball that's not moving right where the branches come off of the trunks or the smallest branches come off of the bigger branches close to the leaves. You'll see them. They're, they'll be sleeping for the most part, but you'll see them. Wild koalas. I'm so excited. I'm going to get out. There's two of them. Am I blind? At some point, the road will start heading inland, exchanging the coastline for green lush forest and golden rolling hills. The views may not be as majestic, but there are still reasons to pull over. We pulled over uh, for reasons but I want you guys, maybe you can hear the sounds that this forest is making. It's, it's very nice. A mosquito flew in, that's why the footage got shaky. I was trying to get it out. Okay, there's bugs out there. Maggie, <laughs> turn the car on, I'm gonna blow the window up. Last time a mosquito bit me, I got dengue fever, and that was not a pleasant experience. We just pulled into the parking of the 12 Apostles, supposed to be probably one of the most prettiest things on this great ocean road. We will determine that for ourselves though. We don't just take people's words for it. So let's go check it out. I mean, I guess it's kind of pretty. You're pretty. What do you think, Maggie? Oh, I like it. Sunset's perfect. Sunrise or sunset, both would probably be perfect, but it's, it's very pretty. It's limestone that's been carved out over hundreds of millions of years, and they formed arches, and then the arch collapsed, and now you have these stacks. We're, uh, we're gonna go see one more thing. It's like a, a gorge before we head to our Airbnb. There are crazy flies here, just so you know. When you come, there's flies land on you and bite you, they bite.
Flies, flies are still getting me. Yep, that's the gorge. And we are losing light, so we gotta go to find our Airbnb now and check in so we can continue this drive tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video guys. We're in New Zealand now, we're not in Australia, but we do have two more videos of Australia coming up, Sydney to be precise. We had to break it apart into a couple of videos because it's a big city, there's a lot to do. Anyway, New Zealand's really pretty. Look look at my forehead, I'm not dripping sweat. It is a little warm here, but it's, it's beautiful. I mean, I love Australia, but good Lord, it's hot there. This is, this is my kind of temperature, but I'm allergic to the trees. I don't think you guys care about that. Um, okay, bye. <laughs>